Hello YouTube, I am the Locksmith, 420 CEO, and this is why I chose a Gen 2 Dodge Viper RT10. In my video, Chasing the Dream, my Viper story, I talk about how I fell in love with Vipers. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. And yes, that was a Gen 1 Viper RT10. So why did I buy a Gen 2 Viper? Well, I test drove several Vipers before buying mine, and one was a Gen 1 1993 RT10. Though I loved the car, the seat belts on the doors, the clip-in windows, and the lack of AC or a top was a tough pill to swallow. So I researched more Vipers and stats, and this is what I found. The 1992 to 1996 RT10 was considered the Gen 1. It was 400 horsepower. In 1997, it was changed all the way up to 2002, where the RT10 was considered the Gen 2 and the horsepower was increased to 450 horsepower. The Gen 1 and the Gen 2 had the same body, so the Gen 2 had very little difference from what I fell in love with when I was young. However, in 97, airbags and a removable hardtop were added, and in 1998, air conditioning, power locks, exterior door handles, CD player, power windows, and on the exterior, side hood vents and an air intake vent were added to the hood. Then in 1999, the wheel size was increased from 17 inch to 18 inch. And finally, in 2001, ABS was added. So, I found a 2002 RT10 for sale and that was the last year before the Gen 3, where the body style completely changed. So the 2002 had everything I wanted in upgrades and the body style I fell in love with in my youth. So, only 545 2002 Dodge Viper RT10s were made. There was 178 yellow. 181 red, and 186 graphite metallic. With an 8 liter, 488.2 cubic inch aluminum V10 engine, taking you from 0 to 60 in 4 seconds, and a quarter mile in 12.2 seconds. These are all factory statistics. I was sold, and that is why I chose a Gen 2 over a Gen 1 Viper. Thank you very much for listening to my story. Please like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I will be posting more videos all the time. Locksmith, 420 CEO.